Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I look really crazy. Um, we're doing my lip collection, organizing, whatever. So yeah, that's why we're in this corner. So I think I'm just going to get started because uh, there's a lot. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show you what I have here so that you know what I'm doing. So I have this makeup acrylic organizer thing. So I'm going to show you what's in here first. And yeah, then we'll just go through the rest of the drawers um, like I just did for my blush and bronzer collection. So first I'll show you my Fenty lip glosses <laughs> because I have six of them. So these ones are the full size ones that I have. So I have this shade um, Diamond Milk, the clear one with like shimmer. I have Fussy, it's a more like pinky one. I have the original Fenty Glow, which looks like this. It's more like universal, like nude. And then I have this darker one called Hot Chocolate, like lit, get it? Yeah, so this one here. Those are my full size and this is one of my favorite lip gloss formulas, which is why I have so many of them. The other two um, are minis. So this one my mom gave to me. It's from the most recent holiday um, collection. It's called Ruby Milk. It's more like a nice bright pink. And this one I got last year for holiday, like two years, two holidays ago. It's um, Sweet Mouth, so it's very like light pink. So I have enough of those. I don't need to buy any more Fenty glosses. Um, what else is in this thing? Well, I guess I'll show you my lip liners because it's not crazy. This is all. These are all of them. I mean, it's kind of boring to show you lip liners, at least from this angle. Um, let me see, I'll show you them in like groups. So these are all my Bite lip pencils and I'm really sad that they discontinued these because I really like them. Um, thankfully I got these all from my cousin. So I have 038, this one, this one is 032, 064, 030 and 026 so I have all those then I have three MAC um ones no this is not MAC I'm missing something so I only have these two from MAC I thought I had more so I'm kind of confused so I have the shade Soar which is like a YouTube favorite this shade here and the shade etc etc however you want to say that which is more like a nude this one is a different um formula than the sore these are the pro long wear and they really are long wear like they don't come off at all <laughs> this one is just called a lip pencil so yeah these are my Aveda lip pencils, which I used to love. Um, this is the shade Hawthorne Berry. It's like a deep purple. And then I have like a, a red, like a true red called Fire Maple. And this is like a bright orangey red called Barberry Bloom. These I used to use as lipstick, so I really like these. I think the rest of these are just like random. This one is from Laura Mercier. It came in a Sephora like lip set. It's in the shade Naked, so it's a really good, just like a neutral shade. 
that you can pair with a lot of different lip colors. This one I am considering decluttering. It's the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade White Russian. And I honestly don't know why I bought this because it's like a baby pink. When am I ever going to wear this? I don't know. So yeah, I'll probably be decluttering this at some point unless I find another use for it, like to lighten up another lipstick or something. Um, and I do like that it has a lip brush on the other end, but I just probably won't use this shade. I have this one from the Estee Edit, which is a brand that doesn't exist anymore in the shade The Barest. This looks like a good contour lip shade. I have this one from Stila, which I really like. Uh, it's not Stila, Smashbox. Um, these are the Always Sharp Lip Liners because when you twist the cap off, it actually sharpens it at the same time, which is really good. This is the shade Crimson. I like to have a good like red lip liner. But I also have this one from Bobbi Brown, which I really like. Just like a true red. This is the shade red. So yeah. This is so old. This is like one of the first lip liners I ever bought. Because I used to only wear red lipstick. And yeah, I needed a lip liner. Oh, I have two from NYX in different formulas. Um, they're both like nudes, like brown shades. So I have the shade Nude Beige, which is like a true crayon type. And this one is more like a gel crayon. It's the Slide On, the ones that have like the longest name ever. And this is the shade Nude Suede Shoes. So it's more like this kind. These two are from Bodyography. I just got them in a boxy charm not long ago. So there's a nude and like a more red, well, like a vampier shade. Um, I remember liking these, but the caps are very loose and it concerns me because they're just gonna come right off and probably make the crayon dry up. But anyway, this is the shade Rosewood. And this one is the shade Pouty. And I'm getting lip crayon everywhere. Oh, I have a Kylie lip liner because it came in the Leo lip kit that Josh bought me one year. Um, I really like this shade. It's very deep, as you can see. This I only wear with the Leo lip, whatever it's called. Yeah, so I don't get a lot of use out of this one. This is kind of like in the same color family. This is from BoxyCharm. It's the brand Jante Blue. Is that how you say that? Jante Blue. And this is the shade Brown Sugar. Looks like this. Oh, this little one from Sephora. This is actually the size that it comes in. I didn't use that much of it. But I bought this because I have like a lot of lip colors that are like this bright, like fuchsia kind of color. And I didn't have any lip liners to go with it. So I just got a mini of this. Um, as you can tell, it's very fuchsia. What is this actually called? Oh yeah, it's called fuchsia, so there's that one. Oh, this is a clear lip liner called No Bleeding Lips. Um, secret lip liner. And it just fell out. Okay, so <laughs> this is going in the garbage. Um, and this is like a scam because that's what fell out. And there's no other product in here. What is going on? I remember this came in 
a Sephora lip set. You know, like for the holidays, they do those huge like lip kits. At least they used to. Okay, no, there is more. But it's like totally dried up, I think. Yeah, there's more now. I was going to be like, what? Okay. I don't know if this is dry or if that... Yeah, this is going in the garbage. I think I only had used this like one time, so that kind of sucks. But do you really need a clear lip liner? I mean, I feel like the purpose of lip liner is to actually like define your lips. So this is not something I feel like I need anyway. So that's going in the garbage. This is one, another one from BoxyCharm that is still in the plastic. So I haven't used it yet. It's a gel liner from Appeal in the shade Mood. Looks like a nice shade, but I just haven't needed to open it yet. I also have this one from Vintage Cosmetics in Mocha. I think I remember liking this one. And this one from Real Her in the shade I Am Loved. I believe this goes with a liquid lipstick. It's like one of those vampy shades. That is all for lip liners. So now we can start with the... Actually, no. I also have this. <laughs> this is just full of lip products. So let me see if I can get like a better angle. Okay, let's try this way. Uh, yeah, so I have this thing that's full of lip products. Except for my Kaja cheeky stamps that I showed you in my last video. Um, yeah, so these are just things that either didn't fit in these drawers or that were already in here. So this first one is a Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unattached. This is like a nice bright corally shade um, in the springtime is when I would wear this more, or maybe even like around this time. Uh, this one is actually a lip balm from Tristique, and it's called the, oh, it's a mini also. You know, this brand that all their stuff is in a stick form. Uh, this is the mini plumping lip balm, lip treatment in the shade Barbados Berry. It's actually like a big round thing like this and this actually I was keeping at work when I used to work in an office. <laughs> um, but I found like the shade was way too bright to just swipe on whenever because like you kind of have to see it's quite pigmented and you have to see like where you're putting it. But also I don't wear makeup at work and it looked kind of weird to have like a bright lip balm on and no other makeup so I brought it home <laughs> but yeah that's the story of this and I don't really know why it's called plumping because it it doesn't have like that tingly effect so yeah I don't know about that then I have somehow accumulated five of these bite um what were, what were these called and I'm pretty sure they're discontinued Oh, the writing is so small. I'm pretty sure it was something like liquefied, a mousse bouche liquefied lip. Yes. So I have like a purple one called Marsala. I have one called Braised. It's like a red. I have a nude one called Whip. I have another like deeper nude called Demi Glaze or Demi Glacé or something like that. And then like a bright orangey red in the shade Flambe. I believe I bought, yeah, I'm pretty sure these four came in like a holiday lip thing. But, and this one came maybe in like a Sephora favorites kit or something. I think that's why I have five of these. And I should really use them. Like I say in every video, when I mention bite, I need to use them because it's more like natural ingredients. So it probably goes bad faster. Um, so these things here 
are just too long to fit in these drawers so that's why they're on display like this so this one is the Tarte Maracuya Glossy Lip Oil and this is not really an oil at all I don't know why they call it that it's actually very glossy like gloopy kind of but oh, I just put that right in my nose <laughs> but I was gonna say the smell of this is amazing I don't know what it is but it smells like something like from my childhood so that's why I bought it but I'm just a bit disappointed that it's not really like an oily texture but anyway I have this um, and this only comes in this one shade so yeah it's called sheer pink this is a hard candy plumping serum volumizing lip gloss this came in a Walmart like beauty favorites box. It's the shade Sugar Sugar. Let me smell this. It smells like a plumping lip product. I don't remember anything about this, but yeah. And this packaging is obnoxious. It's so like thick and bulky. <laughs> oh, this is from Too Faced. It's the Diffused Matte Lip Color from, well, no, what is this actually called? Peach Puff. Peach Puff Diffused Matte Lip Color. So it was these things where there's like a little poof on the tip and you twist it up. I got this shade because it looked more unique from the other ones, which are all like pinky nudes. So I got the red one. And it smells really good. It has like the same scent as the Sweet Peach line. It's like um, peach and fig or something like that. And this is called Street Fire. That's the shade. And these are really what they say, diffused matte. Like it's really like a soft, like blurred lip kind of effect. This is a Huda Beauty lip strobe in the shade Snobby. It's very like glittery and pink. And then I have two um, KVD. What were these called? Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade Lolita and the shade Bow and Arrow. These are like OG YouTube favorites. I actually really like these, but I feel like the formula isn't consistent. Like some of them are very sticky and dry and then other ones are good. So I think depends on the shade. Here is one of my prized possessions. <laughs> this is a Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. What is that what it's called? Hot Lips? I guess so. Um, that I keep in the box because it looks like this. It's the shade JK Magic and I love it so much. This is the packaging. It's like moons and stars. It's really pretty and the shade is like a, a nice neutral nude and it has the lips. <laughs> this looks like I had never touched it, but I've actually used this, so. Um, I just keep it in the box because I'm scared to like scratch it or something. And these are so expensive, so. Yeah, that's my Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This is a Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color in the shade Brocade. It's like a purple, vampy purple shade. This came in a Sephora Favorites again, which is where most of my lip products came from. If you're wondering how my collection got so huge, that's why. This is a Rimmel Matte Lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. I actually got this from Influencer a really long time ago. Um, still smells good. <laughs> Um, I brought this with me on a trip also and I wore this like every day. Well, every time I wore lipstick I wore this one because it's a really nice nude that 
you can pull off like even if you don't have a lot of other makeup on so i really actually like this a lot oh this is ancient like but for some reason i just can't get rid of it they don't even make these anymore but it's from benefit it's um i don't know what they were calling these but it's the shade flirt alert this is back when like lipsticks were just called lipsticks you know <laughs> so there's no like special fancy name but this is like my signature red that i used to wear like all the time and it still smells good and looks okay so i haven't gotten rid of it and there's still like so much product in there so yeah this is um really old um this is a nyx butter lipstick in the shade snow cap i think i got this at the nyx store in toronto this is like a very light nude but i think it actually looks good on me if i remember correctly i should use it more um this is not really a product i use much because it's actually a lipstick that you use to change the shade um, of other lipsticks. It's called the Lip Flip Shade Transformer in Turn Down. So it looks black, but it's not black like when you swatch it. Well, no, it is. <laughs> but when you mix it with um, lipstick, it darkens the lipstick. So if you put a lipstick on and you're like, oh, that's not what I meant. Like that's too bright. You can use this and like make it a deeper tone. But like that doesn't happen often. But I also keep it because I'm like, what if that does happen? <laughs> so I don't know. I have this. This is from Estee Edit, the brand that doesn't exist anymore. And they ha also had one to lighten but this is the one to deepen. Um, then here I have three bite full-size lipsticks. I have Porcini. This is a very interesting shade, which I'm not sure how it looks on me because I haven't used it, at least not recently. This one is Sangria. This is a nice summer lipstick. This is Beetroot. This is like a deep, um, not purple, I guess like a burgundy kind of plum shade. And then I have two of these, Benefit They're Real, Double the Lip, whatever. These are like those gimmicky lipsticks that supposedly line your lips while they, like they do both, they're liners and lipsticks because the tip is like darker than the in this part i don't know this one is the shade lusty rose and beyond sexy i keep them upside down so that i can see the color um and this one is fuchsia fever okay i thought the shade was beyond sexy but no that's the name of the product beyond sexy lipstick and liner in one so this one is yeah lusty rose and this one is Fuchsia Fever, so it's a lot brighter. I don't remember how I feel about these. I feel like they weren't very pigmented, if I remember correctly. I should use them more, like everything else that I have. Then I have two of these. Um, these are the Hourglass Girl, just as girl. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know why they're two different packaging like one is like the traditional hourglass color and this one's black i don't know but this one is called influencer it's like a nice nude and these are like more like crayons as you can see and they're minis and this one is futurist okay they look very <laughs> much the same let's look at this one again wow that's supposedly two different shades. I guess this one is more cool tone, maybe more brown, and this is more pink. 
These were really popular when they first came out and then no one talked about them ever again, as with most things on YouTube. Um, then I have two Urban Decay lipsticks. This one is the shade, no, 1993. This is a very popular one in the Comfort Matte formula. I really like this lipstick actually. And this one was from the um, Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collab. This is the shade Bun Bun. It's also a comfort matte. Um, it looks like this. It's quite similar. Again, let's compare them. Okay, I guess 1993 is more brown and Bun Bun is more nude. Yeah, definitely this one is darker. Then I have one matte lip intensity lipstick. I used to want more of these, but I don't know anymore. Um, this is a shade Smoked Almond. It's like a nice brownie nude. It smells good too. This is a ABH matte lipstick in the shade Ruby. A nice red. And these are very matte. Um, but I like them because they stay put, kind of. So that was it for this thing. But I actually didn't show you that I have... I have this. This is like a spinny thing that I can't fit in the frame. So I'll just show you what it is and then I'll pull the products out. Yeah, so again, these Huda things, if you're wondering, they're too long to fit in acrylic drawers like this. Um, so this one is the shade Trendsetter. And then I also have this one in the shade Bombshell. They look very similar again. I remember I liked these a lot. At least I remember liking the shade. Okay, they're, they are different. So this is Trendsetter. It's more deep. And this is, what did I say? Bombshell more nude. Oh, and speaking of Huda Beauty, I also have one of these things and I love how it looks. <laughs> but I never use it because it's in here and so I, it's more like a decor than a product but it actually has three products inside. So another Huda Beauty liquid matte in the shade Trophy Wife. So all these things are supposed to give you like this effect on your lips. So it's like a sparkly, pinky kind of look. Um, this is a lip liner in the shade, oh, Trophy Wife. Okay, so the lip liner and the lip product go together. And this is another lip strobe in the shade Shameless. So yeah, I have to remember to use this. But I really like this tin. Maybe I should take the products out and just keep this as decoration. I don't know. Um, I have two of these which don't exist anymore, I think, because I bought these at Winners. Um, these were the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. Are they both Velvet Finish? Yeah. Um, this one is the shade Bear With Me. And this one is the shade. Oh, it fell off. That's right. I don't know what the shade was, but it was like this pinky one. And I really like these. I don't know why they discontinued them. Because they were like liquid lipsticks, but they didn't dry super matte. So they were nice and comfortable. I have two Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayons. One is the shade Leche. It's a like a pinky nude. These also don't fit in these drawers. And this one is Cognac. This is a really nice fall shade. Um, and these are really long wearing too, if I remember. Wait, no, I think I'm thinking of the nude sticks ones. Don't listen to me. But yeah, I remember liking this one too. I have this Sephora Jelly Melt in the shade. Tango. I think these smell really good. Yes, they smell like fruit candies. So 
This is like a lip stain gloss type product in one. Um, it's very summery and like popsicle mouse kind of vibe. And oh, this is my Rare Beauty Matte Lip Cream. No. <laughs> what are these called? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I have the shade Brave. So this is the shade that's in the bottle. I'll just show you because I'm curious as well. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I really like this. I should use it more. Oh, this is a lip gloss. Why is it in there? I think this is when I ran out of room, so I just ended up putting stuff in that spinny thing. This is the shade Posh. It's just like a brownie nude lip gloss. I have two products from Clarins. This one is special to me. It's a natural lip perfecter. I guess there's no shade. It's just one, or it's the shade 00. zero. Um, my work gave these to all the ladies for Women's Day. So I was like, oh, that's so thoughtful. So I got this. And this one came in a boxy charm. It's the Velvet Lip Perfector. Wait, what was this called? This was called Natural Lip Perfector. So it's more like a gloss. And these are the Velvet Lip Perfectors. So I think they're more... Oh, I don't know because I never used it. <laughs> but from what I understand, it's more like the Rare Beauty thing where it's like a soft matte. I don't know. That's how I feel. I could be wrong. Um, this one is in the shade 01. Oh, also from Physician's Formula, I have this Rosé Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. But it's a pencil. It smells like roses, like very much like rose. So if you don't like rose, maybe you won't like this. But I remember really liking the shade of this. Oh, and this is, yeah, this shade is Pillow Talk. And I meant to compare this with my Charlotte Tilbury pillow top. So let me do that now because I keep forgetting. Oh, I think pillow top is in my shop my stash. Yeah, so here's pillow talk. I had to get it from my shop my stash pillow top. And then the physician's formula. <gasps> is that an exact dupe? Okay, maybe not. This is Pillow Talk here, and this is Pillow Talk from Physician's Formula. I think this is more pink, and this is more nude. But they might look very similar on the lips. I always wanted to do that comparison, so there you have it. Here is a Makeup Forever Artist Rouge lipstick, I think, in the shade Virtuous Goji. I used this in a video and I really liked it. And you put the cap on the bottom and you apply it like this. And actually it looks really strange, but it feels like very good in the hand and you get a very precise application. They meant to like mimic lip brush, um, like the way a lip brush would feel in your hand. And I think it was done really well and I really like this lipstick. They actually sent this to me and they also sent me a pink one. I haven't used it yet, it's still in my new makeup drawer, so. But this is more like the shades that I like. And then I have my two lip bundles from the Sailor Moon and ColourPop collab. They're both, yeah, ultra blotted lips. One is called Daylight. And I was kind of disappointed that these were so similar. So this is the Daylight bundle. Um, it comes with the Usagi ultra blotted lip and the Moon Tiara Ultra Glossy Lip. And I keep them in the box because I don't want the packaging to wear off because 
ColourPop packaging does do that. Um, this one's Moonlight, but it looks exactly <laughs> like Daylight. I guess it's supposed to be deeper, but it's so similar. This whole collection was just way too similar, um, which is why I'm really excited to get my Animal Crossing collection because they actually did that one right. Like everything looks quite different. So, but anyway, um, so this one is the Ultra Blotted Lip in bun head and this one is the ultra glossy lip in sailor moon and here's the packaging that i'm trying to protect because it's so nice but this like gold i'm sure it would rub off the more i use it unless they changed their pressing or whatever because the hello kitty one it wore right off so that was all the lip products in that spinny drawer. Um, oh, and I'll show you this, which I really like how it turned out. This is my lip balm collection. Um, I mean, these are lip balms, so I don't know. I don't really need to show you all of them. Okay, maybe do, because there's something really fun in here. It was getting a bit dark, so I turned my ring light on, so the lighting is going to be a bit different, but yeah, <laughs> there's more to talk about. Okay, so I was showing you my lip balm little thingy, so I'll just quickly go over like the boring ones that are just basic lip balms. Um, this one is super old. It's from Pure Lease. It's the Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. It's like a tube one. Uh, I really like this though. I should just use it up. It's actually almost empty. I got it in a boxy charm like a long time ago. This is the Sephora Almond Lip Balm, which I do not recommend. At least not for wearing outside because it gives your lips a white cast. And also it's supposed to be... Well, I bought it because I thought it was a lip balm and a scrub, but there's like no scrubby things. It's just a lip balm that leaves a white cast on your lips, so I don't recommend these ones. This is a Aveda lip balm. They're called Lip Savers. I do find these are very waxy, um, but they do, I don't know, they do the job, I guess. Um, and then I have a Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm, which is super old and I need to use it up. Oh, and then I just have the Sugar Advanced Therapy, so the clear one. And a Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer, a mini one, which I hear really good things about, but I haven't used it, like, enough to have an opinion and i think these are tinted not really maybe like a tiny bit of a pink tint but i wanted to show you this from incredible this is the jelly shot in x revenge but look at this it has a flower in it it's just so pretty um, but I never use it. <laughs> it doesn't... Okay, maybe it has like a bit of a floral scent, but not really. Um, so yeah, this is really cute. I showed you these in my last video. Actually, yeah, you will have seen that already. When I mentioned the new Tarte Maracuya lip... Juicy lip whatevers, I said these was... These were like the same formula, but these are the Quench lip balms. So I have the clear one and I have the rose one and I also have a nude one, but it's in my purse. So I really like these. I think this might be like my favorite kind of tinted lip balm product. Well, this is a clear, but you know what I mean. I have a mini Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the original. I also have a full size of the 
gummy bear one so this is like just a backup i guess i have a mini peach lip balm from too faced the mega moisture lip balm i haven't used it yet it smells really good oh i really like this one this is the glow recipe lip pop um i think they just reformulated these at least they now have a blueberry one that's been reformulated and they have a flat top now so they have more product but this is like the original when it was like a lipstick kind and that's all that you get for like a lot of money <laughs> but it smells really good um and i really like how it feels on the lips this is a milk kush lip balm which i thought was a lipstick until i actually bought the milk lipstick and i was like why does this look different well because this is a lip balm but it's very much like a lipstick if you ask me but anyway oh then i have two young living lip balms i have lavender and grapefruit I think I also had a cinnamon one, but I gave it to my mom. But anyway, if you guys didn't know, I actually make my own lip balms now. You can buy them on Etsy. <laughs> um, my shop is always linked below. So, like, I haven't even opened these ones yet. And I've just been using the ones that I make because it's just really good. So, yeah. I have this little mini Dior lip maximizer. I remember I really liked this. I should just use it up. It should be in my project pan that I will do soon. Um, this is one of my favorite lip balms, surprisingly. It's from Pat McGrath. It's just called Lip Fetish Lip Balm and this is just the basic like clear one. But this is actually a really good formula, which I wasn't expecting. I just thought it was like, you know, Pat McGrath is not like a skincare brand, but it is actually really good. And I also have another little milk Kush lip balm, but this is the Green Dragon one. So it's like a green color, but not green like on your lips. It smells minty. So that's all that was in that little container. So I also have another little lip thing here. This one. This is like my fancy lipsticks or just things that didn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> so I'll show you what's in this one too. I have three of these Too Faced, um, oh, what were these called? Too Faced, I don't know. It doesn't say, something about sweet peaches. And this was like the original packaging before they got sued by Tatcha for stealing your idea. It's when like there's a little peach here. Um, yeah. So I have two that I actually bought, pretty sure because they were on sale. This one is the shade Sunday Fun Day. It's a nice like brownie nude. And there's little peaches on the bullet. And then I have Breakfast Club, which is a nice bright red. And this one came in a Sephora favorite set. It's called Drunk Dial and it's purple. <laughs> and I haven't used it yet because it's like actually purple like not like vampy purple so yeah we'll see about this one but I just like that I have three because it looks nice in in my lip thing um here's a Pat McGrath lipstick in Donatella I got this because it was on sale and I always wanted it. It's a really nice nude, but I haven't used it yet, if you can tell. Look how nice that bullet looks. <laughs> These are the Lux Trance lipsticks, if that means anything to you. I think she has matte ones also, I don't know. 
Um, these are my other two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have Very Victoria, which is like a mauve. I'm pretty sure it's named after Victoria Beckham. And then I have Bond Girl, which is more of a deeper shade, which I really like. Like a rosewood, kind of. I have another NYX lipstick, but these are the pinup pout ones. This is the shade Corset. It looks like this, another nude. I love how I'm like, oh, I need more nude lipsticks. Like I have a million of them that I've never used. <laughs> I think I just keep using ones that aren't the right shade for me and then I'm, I think I need more, but I really just need to use more of what I have. Um, oh, here's another bite. Um, well, this is actually a multi-stick, so it's in this kind of packaging. Because you're supposed to be able to put it like on your cheeks and your lips. This is the shade Macaroon. It's like a pinky shade. It looks kind of beat up. It still smells okay. This is a Laura Mercier Velour Lovers Lip Color in the shade Anna Fair. I have a lot of these kind of purpley deep shades. This is a MAC lipstick in, is that called Mer or Mer? I don't know. M-E-H-R. I believe this came with the Sore lip liner, if I'm not mistaken. It was like a lip bundle. And I have another MAC lipstick in Proud to be Canadian. This is my Canada Day lipstick that I wear every Canada Day. It's just in like basic red, but it's a limited edition because of Canada Day. This is a L'Oreal Color Riche Plump and Shine in the shade Nectarine Plump. One of these. I'm pretty sure I bought this in America. Um, yeah, looks like this. This is like one of my favorite, if not my favorite lipstick ever. <laughs> and it's like the cheapest one in my collection. It's the Wet n Wild, I don't remember, this. These like Pat McGrath knockoff lipsticks. <laughs> um, this is the shade Close Off and it's really nice and creamy and just, I love it so much. I actually don't know if you can get these in Canada because I don't think I've seen these anywhere. I'm pretty sure I bought this in the States again. Um, this is... Oh, this is one of my prized possessions. It's a NARS Audacious lipstick in the shade Lana. So this is like another like signature lip color that I used to wear all the time. Um, I remember my mom bought this for me in Sephora. And that was like before I knew anything about makeup. And I didn't know these were like so expensive and I asked like the Sephora person to show me like that kind of color <laughs> and that's the one she showed me and it's like a $45 lipstick and then I felt bad but yeah I really like it. <laughs> this lipstick I bought for the packaging alone because it has a turtle on it. <laughs> it's a from the Tarte like their regular lipstick line, but this is the only shade that has the turtle. It's called Pink Sands. It's a very light pinky nude, which I usually don't like. I don't know if I've ever used this, maybe one time, but the packaging is beautiful. Um, here is my Kaja Air Heart lipstick in the shade Sprung. Another really cute packaging. It's a heart shaped lipstick. It looks like this. Really like that. This is my Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. These are lipsticks. I don't know why they call them lip balms. 
because they're super pigmented. So that's why I keep it with my lipstick. Um, and I really want to get the new glossy lip balms from them. But yeah, this is the original one that I got when the brand first launched. That I bought myself, obviously. Um, and then I have this Physician's Formula. Muru Muru. Can't say that word. Muru Muru. <laughs> Muru Muru. Butter something. It's called Pop the Bubbly. Oh, right. This um, came in the Physician's Formula by Casey Holmes collab. It was in that big box and I took it out because I was never using it in the box. Um, these are so creamy, like, that you have to be gentle when you apply it, because it's like, it will just slide around your mouth. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, there's that. Um, yeah, so that was everything in that little container. Oh my god, this video's gonna be long. <laughs> okay, let's start with this one here. So, this is actually a separate piece. Maybe I can just like do it like this. I'll just take the drawers out, I guess. So, this is the first, no, you can't see it that way. And these aren't really in any order. I used to have them in like order of color, but it just got all jumbled and then, I don't know, I just put it, the only order that it's in now is like lip glosses I think are separated from liquid lipsticks and also minis are separated but yeah. Um, so this first one is actually brand new and I haven't used it yet. It's a Maybelline lifter glass in the shade Amber. Um, these are supposed to be dupes of the Fenty gloss, so I'm really intrigued and I want to compare them, but I just haven't had the time yet. This is a Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Bittersweet. Looks like this. I used to really like these like grayish kind of tones, but then I realized they don't really look that good on me, so I stopped buying them. Um, this one is one of my favorites. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. It's like nice mauve tone. Here's a nice like brown gloss from Allegory Story. I got it in a boxy charm. It's the shade Plato's Cave. This is a TARDIS lip paint in the shade Insta Famous. This looks really pretty in the tube, but I don't think I've ever used it yet. Um, then I have two of these, Too Faced Eye Shine Sparkling Lip Glosses. I know, I'm pretty sure I bought one of these and the other one came in a boxy charm. Yeah, so I bought the shade Raisin the Roof, just like a purpley gloss. And then I got this one, Crazy Rich in a boxy charm, which is more like a pink. And then I have two ABH glosses. I have the shade Vintage. That's another nice mauve tone. And a more sparkly one in the shade Venus. This one is one of my favorites. And it's just um, the Orgasm again. Lips. Orgasm lip gloss, I guess, from NARS. So it's just like the same orgasm shade that they make everything in, but I really like that formula. It's really comfortable on the lips and it's a really nice shade, especially in the summer. It looks really nice and natural. Um, this is a lip gloss from Juice Beauty in the shade Fig. Don't think I've ever used this. And I should, because it's organic and like, you know, natural or whatever. This is one of my favorites. It's the Buxom Vava Plum. I don't know if these are glosses or 
what I don't remember but it's the shade taupe it off so it's like this shade here I really like this Yes, yeah, so these three, I believe, is all lip gloss. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm coming to realize now. <laughs> or at least, like, liquid lips that don't dry down. Um, I have this Jouet Champs-Élysées High Pigment Lip Gloss. This looks really pretty. I don't think I've ever used it. It smells weird. That probably came in a boxy charm. These used to be super popular. This is the Lancome. What did they call these? Like shaker or something. This is the shade Wondermelon. It's a nice like springtime, summertime product. Okay, changed my battery. Ah, you know you have a problem when you go through two batteries showing only two categories of your makeup collection. Oh, hello. You want to be in the video? <laughs> this is Moontron. For those of you who don't know, he just barged right in here. And now you can hear the TV in the background. Do you mind? Okay. <sighs> now I'm back. Okay, this is another product from Incredible. It's the Be A Roller Baby Rollerball Gloss. One of these things. This is very like 90s inspired. These like kind of things. Remember like lip gloss that you roll on? That's what this is. Um, is there a shade? Choose your happy. But I'm sure it just looks clear when it's on your lips. I have two um, MAC Cream Sheen Glass. I don't know if they make these anymore. These are so, um, these are super old and I think mini size. And they were like a holiday edition. So this one is the shade Pagoda. It's like a light pink with shimmer. And this is, this is the shade Loud and Lovely, which looks to be a matte. This is a Patrick Ta Major Glow in She's Expensive. This came with, um, oh, this right here, actually. This Major Glow Body Oil. These two came in a set. I think this is a mini. Uh, at least this is a mini. I don't know about the lip gloss, but these two came together and I was really excited to try this and I love the scent, but I just don't go anywhere that I would wear a body oil with shimmer <laughs> in a pandemic. So I haven't got much use out of that. Um, and yeah, I don't know much about this lip gloss either because I haven't used it that much. Let me smell it. Ooh, it smells really minty. I probably really like this. This is um, something I know I like. This is the Lancome, Lancome L'Absolu Lacar. These things. Um, I remember when these first came out, no one like understood what it was. Cause it's not a liquid lipstick. But it's also not a lip gloss. This is um, the applicator, which I really like. It's kind of like a stain and a gloss in one. I guess it's kind of like the Sephora Jelly Melt, but this is more shiny, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I really like this. This is the shade 202. It's like a nice pinky nude, but in a good way, you know? Uh, this is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude. This probably came in a boxy charm because I don't remember buying this. Um, this is the shade Everything. Another mauve 
that I have many times over. Um, this is a Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer. Oh god, in the shade Forbidden Fruit. Um, I think I bought this because of Samantha Ravendahl, if I remember correctly. And I really just wanted like a nice summertime kind of gloss. So I have this. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach. Oh, Peach Tea. That's the shade, Peach Tea. And these don't smell like lemonade. They actually smell like cake. I don't know why they're called lemonade. I think because they came out when the Lemonade Palette came out. I believe that's why, but I really like that formula. And then I have a Buxom full-on plumping whipped cream in Seychelles Breeze. Oh, I remember really liking this. Um, these were the limited edition ones that smell like coconut. Yeah, really like this. So I think this is my last, no, I won't say last, but anyway, this is more like mini sizes and things that didn't fit elsewhere, I guess. This is the Kaja Heart Melter. They also had these type of things. This is like a lip gloss, but in a stick kind of thing. Like it's super shiny and melty and heart-shaped and really cute. Really like this. This is a Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in the shade Hot Mess. This came in a Sephora favorite set. This is probably really sticky on the lips if it's called Melted Latex, but I'd still like to try it someday. <laughs> um, this one I like. This was in my Shop My Stash in the last round, I think. It's the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. It's like one of these, like a tube kind of, but Really nice shade and formula of those. I don't know if they still exist. I have a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I am actually not sure if I've ever used this. Because I keep hearing people say this is like painful, actually. Like it's very plumping. So I'm kind of scared, but also kind of curious. <laughs> uh, this is a mini Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. Another mini, this is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Okay, that's confusing. And it looks really ugly because it came in one of those like Walmart things again and for some reason they put like these white stickers on everything and I tried to take it off but it won't come off so that's what it looks like. But uh, I don't know what a matte gloss is. How is that possible? Maybe it's just like meant to be a liquid lipstick. It smells good and it has like this kind of applicator. I should use this. It looks like a nice color. Um, here's another Marc Jacobs, but it's a mini. This is the shade Sugar Sugar. Very light nude. This is a mini Smashbox. There's no, there's nothing on here. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a Be Legendary liquefied lip. Is that what they're called? But I don't know what the shade is. I actually have a whole thing of these. Let me show you that since we're talking about lip products anyway. This. This is a whole set of those, but in full size. Oh, I'm missing. Where is that? Oh yeah, one of them's in my shop, my stash. This. That's what it looks like. So just to get the full name. These are called Be Legendary Liquid Pigments, yeah. 
So I like these because they're like liquid lipsticks, but they don't dry down. So they stay in place because they're like thick enough, but they don't make your lips look all crusty and dry, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is a mini of those. But unfortunately, I don't know what the color is. I'm wondering if it's the same color that I have already. I don't know, but I like these, so there's that. Here is a mini ABH lip gloss in the shade Kristen. I really like this shade, apparently. I have so many of them. Oh, another Too Faced lip injection. But this one is just like the glossy version. So it's like the lip gloss and not the extreme one. Oh, this I really liked. This is the Sephora Gel Gloss. No, Ultra Shine Lip Gel. I really like this formula. It's very nice and comfortable and not sticky. This is the shade Perfect Nude. Then I have a mini Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Obvi. Nice nude again. And a mini Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss <laughs> in the shade Pure Peach. This one. I have a full size too. Where's that? I guess that's in another drawer. Still smells good. So yeah, there's one container down. And then there's this. These are more minis. Oh, here's the Tower 28 clear lip gloss that I was talking about before. Actually, that was in another video anyway, but here, clear lip gloss. <laughs> this is super old, but I keep it because the color is just so unique. It's a Lancome Juicy Tube, remember those? In the shade Plum Freeze. So it's like purple. I don't know what, how this looks on the lips, but I keep it because I just, I don't know, I like it. I have two mini Aveda lip glosses from eons ago. Nepali Berry, it's like a sparkly red. Himalayan Snow, it's like a nice clear gloss, but it has different color sparkle in it. Oh, then I have four of these, but one's in One's in my Shop My Stash. These are the Too Faced um, High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss, but the like holiday ones. So the one in my Shop My Stash is the clear peppermint one, but this one is Eggnog. Then I have Sugar Plum. And Spice Cake. So I actually didn't realize till now, this is the same formula as these ones. As these, they're just different packaging. So that's interesting. And then I have three, three of these Tarte H2O glosses. I didn't buy any of these. I don't know how I have three of them. <laughs> I guess they came in like Sephora sets or something. So I have this one in Hang 10. This packaging is really nice though. Um, this one in Sundress, it's a nude. And another clear sparkly gloss in Bora. What do these smell like? Nothing. At least not from what I can tell. Oh, I have this mini Yves Saint Laurent Volupté Liquid Color Balm. I think these are like lip stains, like the Lancome ones. It actually has the same applicator. So it's probably the same kind of deal. And then I have three mini Buxoms. So I have the shade Sugar. Oh, this one is... um. A full-on lip cream actually in white Russian this like super popular one I saw they have like a whole white Russian theme collection now but it's not getting very good reviews so I don't really care that much <laughs> and oh another lip cream in 
the shade Dolly, another popular shade. Then I have this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Brittle. This one. That looks like a nice nude gloss. And this Sephora Outrageous Plump Effect in the shade 02. These. These were really popular at one point also. It smells like plumping lip gloss smell. So that's done. But there's more behind here. Oh my god. This is getting dangerous. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> I need some coffee. Okay. Here's another one of these things, but these are all mini lipsticks. Oh, these are dusty. <laughs> this is a Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. No, that's the name of it. It's a lip cream. Le Marc Lip Cream in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This cute pinky shade. Then I have a whole bunch of bite products. So I have two multi sticks. This one is. Oh no! This one just fell out of the tube. Oh god. Can I still use it? Oh yeah. That's a swatch. I thought it might have fell out because it's too dry, but it just fell out. <laughs> uh, so this was the shade Mochi. And then I have the shade Brioche. This, one, this one's more like a brownie nude. Um, then I have some lipsticks from them. I have Chai. Now I'm scared these are all gonna fall out. That's Chai Licorice. Oh. It's a nice fall shade. And Honeycomb. It's a nice nude. Very light. Nude. Then I have a mini KVD Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. Nice mauve tone. How many times have I said that in this video? I have a Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in the shade C211. I don't, I don't know. That looks exactly the same <laughs> as the other one. Oh dear. I have a NARS Orgasm lipstick. I own like everything in the orgasm line apparently. <laughs> the blush, the lipstick, the lip balm. Yeah. This is a Laura Mercier Velour Lovers lip color in the shade Sensual. It's more like a pinky nude. And then I have two minis of those Tarte lipsticks. Um, this one is the shade Rum Punch. I remember really liking this nude. And then Beach Babe, which is even more nude. Oh, can you focus though? Yeah. There. So those are the minis. Then we just have this, but this is full of other stuff also, so don't worry. Um, this first drawer here has a random assortment of things. It looks like metallic liquid lipsticks, which I never really use. So I have this Urban Decay Vice liquid lipstick in the shade Trivial. Looks like this. I remember when I got this. This is the Kylie Meta no, Metal Matte Lipstick in the shade Kai Majesty. So this was like a free gift with purchase when I first got into YouTube and everyone was talking about Kylie and I was super interested in it. And then, yeah, I got this. It's a metallic blue lipstick. I don't know when I thought I was going to wear this, but maybe for Halloween that would be cute. This is, oh, I think this is the one I have to declutter. Um, this is 
the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights. But let me, yeah, let me check something. It might be okay actually. Because I think, I can't tell if this is still good or not. That's the shade. I really like the shade of it. But the formula looks kind of weird and like chunky and not what it should look like. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it for now. And I have other ones that I'll compare it to and see if this is still good. Um, then I have two of these Smashbox Always On Metallic Mattes. So I have the shade um, Vino Noir. That makes me think of Kimmy Schmidt. And I have this shade Exo Vlada. Oh, so this was from the Vlada collab. Oh, it looks weird though in the tube. Oh no, that is dry. I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Some of my lip products are starting to dry out. Yeah. I tried to swatch that and it's just like, look, like you can hear how dry that is. Hmm, that'll have to go in the garbage. Let's see this one then. This is, okay, that one is on the verge of being too dry, but it still swatches okay. So we'll keep that for now because I actually really like how that looks. Well, that drawer is only four products now. Oh, another set of Too Faced like holiday lips that one was missing because it's in my shop my stash. So um, these are the melted matte ones. I have the shade Sugar Cookie. This one. Let me smell these. Oh yeah, still smells good. This one is Hot Buttered Rum. And pumpkin spice. Yep. These smell good. And then I have a full size gingerbread man. I love how these smell like what they are. Like they don't all have the same scent. You know what I mean? So yeah, those are my two face ones. I have this BDL. I don't know. There's like a stamp over the name, so I don't know. But I got this from Influencer when I got all those other VDL products. And yeah, I really like this. It smells like, um, that's the shade. It's like one of these nice, like, doesn't dry down kind of lip gloss, but also lipstick kind of thing. It smells like um, the Yves Saint Laurent, like florally kind of smell. This is a Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon. Oh yeah, I remember I like these, but I don't think I've tried this one yet. Um, this is the shade Plum and Get It. Looks like that. It says on the cap to snap shut because if you don't, they'll dry out because they're very gel-like. That has like a shimmer that I didn't think it did. I thought it was a matte, but it's like shiny and now it's everywhere. And then I have two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have the shade Copenhagen and the shade Stockholm. These are very moussey from what I remember. Hopefully they're not dry. Then I have a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one I bought because of Kathleen Lights and she didn't disappoint me because I really like it. It's called Praline de Patty. So it's like a really unique pink, like, this kind of pink. I don't even know what to call that, but I really like it. It's really flattering because it gives like a, a brightness, but it's not like a weird pink, you know? Um, then I have two Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, I guess, that are very similar, and I got them both in BoxyCharm. 
So um, this one is the shade Kiss of Fire. It's like a nice bright red. But then like the month after, they sent me another one <laughs> in the shade Date Night, which is another red, but it's more like a true red than an orangey red. Then I have this Real Her Lady Love Matte Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, so this is the lipstick that goes with that lip liner, I'm pretty sure. This one. Another Too Faced Mini Melted Matte in the shade Queen Bee. This one. So I have one... One... One more drawer of liquid lipstick. I have this that I haven't used yet from BoxyCharm. It's a NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Low Rider. Looks really nice. I have another TARDIS lip paint in the shade Home Slice. It's a nice nude. I have a Milani Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade Adorable. Oh, I remember really liking this. I wore it in a video. I have a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Orange County. It's a true orange. I have never worn this. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I just don't go anywhere that I would wear an orange lipstick to. I have an ABH liquid lipstick in Poet. Um, I wore this in a video and it's very matte and almost too matte, but the shade is really nice so I keep it. Um, these are some more Marc Jacobs crayons, liquid lip crayons, but in full size. So this one is the shade Night Mauves. And then I have more like brown one in the shade Burn Notice. This one is newer. Um, it was on sale, that's why I bought it. Oh, here's my other Ofra liquid lipsticks in the old packaging. So I have this one in the shade Santa Ana. See, this feels better than the newer one for some reason. It's this watch here. And this one's like a metallic one in the shade Napa Valley. I don't know when I'm gonna wear a purple metallic lip, but still swatches pretty good. This one. Here's my Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Leo. Goes with that lip liner. Then I have two Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Rubino. It's a nice deep red. And then the shade Caramello. Pinky nude. And I have this Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cream in the shade Undraped. Looks like that. Okay, I thought that was all. But I have two more drawers. Yeah, but these have other things in them too, so it won't be too bad. So I have this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. These were before they came out with the matte ones. I have this MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Burnt Spice. Really like this. I have two Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. One is the shade, why are these all oily? Nudist Peach. And this one is Give Me Mocha. I think I remember these being kind of dry. I don't know, I have to revisit my liquid lipsticks and see if I actually like them. This is a mini Sephora cream lip stain in the shade 96. It's just like the red one. These are really good. This, I think, is what's making everything oily. This is a Tardis lip paint in the shade Yas. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear this shade, but I don't have anything else like it, so that's why I keep it. This is a Grande Lips Plumping Liquid Lipstick in the shade Smoked Sherry. Ooh, that sounds good. 
looks like that. And then I have three more TARDIS lip paints. How many of these do I have? This one is, is the shade Exposed. Then I have this one, Birthday Suit. This came in the birthday gift with Party, I'm pretty sure. The blush. This one is Wannabe, this brownie one. And then I have a Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 105. And a YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in the shade 1. This looks really pretty. I should use it. And a mini L'Oreal Rouge Signature. I don't know what the shade is, but it's just like a red. Oh, then I have these. These have been discontinued, but um, now there's like this new product from NYX that apparently is like viral on TikTok, but this is the same thing. These were from Makeup Forever. Um, they were Aqua Rouge Water proof liquid lip colors so you put the liquid lipstick on and then you put this gloss on top and it dries down but it looks shiny so it's really interesting but yeah i had these three shades i mean they're discontinued so it doesn't matter what shade they are this is what they are <laughs> oh another Too Faced melted matte this one is the shade sellout um, this is a Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina, still in the plastic. <laughs> this is a Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo. Uh, this looks like really strange for your lips, but yeah. It's in the shade Jasmine. Another Stila Stale Day in the shade Basil. So red. Oh, then I have five KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Minis. So I have the shade Ludwig, Nasferatu, Outlaw, K-Dub, that is a choice, Damned. This is a Ciate Glitter Flip in the shade Infamous. These are like liquid lipsticks that are matte, but then you rub them together and they turn glittery. I haven't even used it yet, but I just know because I saw when they first came out. And then the Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Head Over Heels. Nice fuchsia. Okay, finally, that is all. <laughs> Those are all my lip products that I keep in these drawers. So yeah, and I think that's it for my collections now. The only thing I didn't show is my single, like my eye glitters and like pots and stuff. But that can be another video because this has been way too long. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my other, um, oh hello my organize with me playlist if you like these kind of videos and did i say subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye